So the, the work that we're doing for strategic planning for the fall reopening has been super exciting to see so many people that are dedicated to kids' safety, to making sure that families are comfortable bringing their children to school each day, to making sure that our staff are well cared for throughout the school day. Um, the curiosity that people have with all of the, the changing guidelines, it's been inspiring to see the solutions that people are coming up with using the resources that we currently have, as well as looking at innovative options for things that we haven't put into place yet. Um, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, it's daunting at times, but it's really exciting to see how the community is coming together, the school community is coming together, um, with the, again, that idea of really maintaining our staff and student safety each and every day. So uh, our goal in um doing all this planning and uh, researching and such is to provide, make sure that we are providing meals um, to all students, whether they are in school uh, or if they are on an alternate model and somewhere at home and are learning online. Any student that is entitled to meals and needs a meal, we want to be able to provide that to them safely and efficiently. Paula has been in meetings and they're brainstorming. We have a lot of obstacles to get over, but I think we're doing that uh, piece by piece. Every district is looking for the same product and uh, manufacturers are scrambling, trying to come up with new things and provide uh, as much as they can for all districts. Um, so there's a lot of challenges, but um, We'll get there. One of the first things we did was send out a notice to teachers to minimize the stuff that was in the classroom so that we can um, get it down to hard surfaces um, and try to gain some space for student separation in the classrooms. I currently have my staff um, cleaning and sanitizing carpets, stripping floors, rewaxing floors, cleaning up all the hard surfaces. Um, I have a crew now that's in changing all the filters and the air handlers, so we'll have a fresh start of school with clean air or clean filters in the heating systems, and um, that's what they're working on currently. So we are talking about a, a number of little scenarios on how we're going to load kids, whether it be back to front, whether we uh, separate them one to a seat, whether we put a seat in between. Um, a lot of that's going to be data driven on how many of the kids are planning to ride the bus. And um, we're trying to get a hold of the best cleaning solutions out there, electrostatic sprayers to sanitize buses in between runs and then um, keeping our drivers safe with as much PPE equipment as we can have on hand. So I'm making them feel like they're, you know, comfortable and driving and communicating with kids and interacting. So, so I think these um, planning meetings are really important. Um, we all get to kind of collaborate on what's important to us and how it affects each individual part. So there's always we come up with a solution, but it affects somebody else, so there's kind of a trickle-down effect. So I think all of us collaborating together is a really a good idea for the planning. Uh, we have a lot, to, a lot of work to do, of course, and I think that transportation, so much of it's going to depend on if we are able to get kids to and from school or not. But we're all out there where, you know, no one's ever been before. And so that's what I find kind of exciting, that we really have to come up with and implement um, ideas that we all can share. And because uh, there's really no blueprint out there that we can go by. Uh, and I'm impressed with, uh, with Justin, with our new leader. Uh, uh, I'm impressed with everyone in the room. And I think together we're going to be able to do it and have a successful year.